Great Rising YouTube, Great Rising Facebook, this is me, ha <laughs> ha, yes indeed, yes indeed, yes indeed, get your chairs, get your mat, get your, all your stuff to you see, I'm still working on camera angles, cause there's a way the angle is, where you can see me, and not see the ceiling and see the beautiful black backdrop. Ha ha ha! Yeah, we walking. Yes. <laughs> is the fan blowing my backdrop? The fan is blowing my backdrop. Y'all get ready, y'all. Okay, now not so much blowing. Ha ha! Let's start. Hey, Great Rosin. Hey, Diane, Mary, Joe. Did y'all miss me this morning? I tell you. Hey, and you too. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Now, y'all may have to mute yourselves through this whole thing. You may have to mute yourselves. And this backdrop and stuff is still a work in process. I got some lighting issues. <laughs> But don't I always? Well, ha! Great rises! Great rises! Thanks for coming on the walk with me. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. I tried to give y'all something other than a white background. So, let me tell you. Because I posted about the Mormons, honey. Because I posted about the Mormons, Facebook picked me up. They said, you can't post for 17 hours. This is because three of your previous posts didn't follow our community standards. Your comments didn't follow up community standards on harassment and bullying. All I put was that, I'll read to y'all what I put. And again, they said I posted it three times. And it's called harassment and bullying. So I want to read to y'all what was harassment and bullying. It's a meme, and it says the Mormons. Some of their beliefs. Now, I don't know if y'all ever looked at Love After Lockup. But that used to be my favorite show when I was into that cable stuff. And on the show, one of my favorite African American girls is Andrea. And she came from Utah. Mormon territory. So... And also, a lot of stuff I knew about the Mormons just in growing up. Because our African American activists, they did pull out coattails about the Midwest and stuff. So anyway, there was a scene where the Mormon girls were upset because Andrea wasn't wearing her Mormon undergarments. There's a special undergarment that women have to wear. Now that was on Love After Locker. Then, her husband, he wouldn't become a Mormon. He said, I'm not going for that BS. They didn't let us African Americans become Mormons until 1978. They said until 1978, we couldn't even have it. So he said, I'm not going for that religion. It's right there on WeTV. Now, I watch Leah Remini. And Leah Remini has a Facebook page. And all she did was tell the truth about the Scientologists. She had a fan page. She had a, you, But me... 
because I posted three times about the Mormons is harassment. Now I gotta go on Facebook every day and hear about Jesus all the time. They be throwing out scriptures and everything all the time. Why is that harassment? Why is that harassment? When I was a Christian, I posted it all the time. And I never got kicked off Facebook. But what it is, is I'm trying to get through to y'all that the reason why, because the whole thing started out because I want to know why are y'all trying to stop us from voting? That's a commitment my mother made to vote. She stood behind it. She marched over. Oh, we had five minutes already. This little quick walk will be over in no time, y'all. Thank y'all for walking with me. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like. Uh, but y'all mute so y'all will hear me anyway. So my mother marched on Washington for the vote. And she said it was important. My grandmother voted. She said it was important. I worked with Sandra from the League of Women Voters in Bronxville, New York. And she said, vigilance, Vicki. Because without vigilance, we'll lose the vote. So, now I'm just going along my everyday thing. And I'm just saying to myself, why is they trying to take the vote away from the African Americans? Why are they trying to take the vote away from us, I says. Well, as I asked the universe, the universe responded. I see this thing, the witness wore red on Dr. Phil. So I was like, what? What? And it was all about the Midwest and the polygamy. And just things started turning in my head. I started saying, wait a minute now. Wait a minute here now. Ain't that the, um, it's coke, but we call it cot. Ain't that where the, the, the coke and the cot brothers work out? Ain't that that money thing that I used to see when 45 was out there doing his mess as his supporters? That's where the people people is. That's where all those money people are. So then it dawned on me, wait a minute here now. That is not Wait a minute here now. It ain't got nothing to do with us. It's not about us. It's about taking the vote away from women. Like that. So then I came across that and I'll read what it said. It said it's harassment because I posted it three times. I have memes that I have posted many, many, many times that I keep. And never said it was harassing. But this is the Mormons. And that's how powerful they are. That a little dried up person here on the East Coast is enough to make them make Facebook come after me for some community violations, which is bogus. Anyway, here it is. Jesus Christ is Satan's brother. It's true. God lives near a planet called Colo. That is, that's true. They said that. I've heard that from what I... Huh. Jesus is married to a goddess wife. Jesus has children from his wives. The Garden of Eden was in Missouri. Mormons are the real Christians. Before 1978, blacks could not get into heaven. Lamar said that on Love After Lockup. Mormons baptize dead people. Mormons believe they will become gods. Mormons will get their own planet after death. 
Mormons wear magic underwear and never take them off except to bathe. It is a sin to drink happy. Now, let me tell you, Facebook says, your, your comment didn't follow our community standards on harassment and bullying. I read quotes from people all the time, two or three times, sometimes the same time. It's my page. I get to do what I want to do. If I want to post it, I'll post it. It's my page. But apparently not. So say the Mormons. So, now that I know, because, and now here's the thing, when I lived in Mount Vernon, we had these four white Mormon boys that went through that, that, every day they showed up to the community, because my neighbor, Irma, she was an ailing older person, and they would come and talk to her, go do her shopping, take her laundry. And I would say, Irma, what, why are you doing that? She said, well, they want to come and sit there and talk to me about, you know, their Jesus, so why not? But I just said, no, thank you. But in Mount Vernon, they went through there, and people who were there at that time were going back, what? The early 20, 20, the turn of the century. And then all one. Yep. They were there and they were talk to us. So I didn't see that as being, I was, because every time I said to myself, that's it. This is it. This is why the vote, we as African Americans, we're collateral damage on this BS. This is to stop women from voting. Yes, I'm a woman, but they don't fear my vote like they do theirs. Now look at this. One man in the Midwest has 100 kids, 100 Republican votes. Now those kids have a hundred kids. Each one of those hundred kids. And they all vote Republican. That's why it's sold up in the Midwest. And that's why they're going after my post. I'm trying to make y'all see. So now since we gotta do it like that, I'll be putting the podcast up. I'm looking out for the space that I'm gonna put it in. And, because remember, I used to write a column with the Westchester Guardian. So, so, you know, so we're just collateral damage. This is all this European, you see, they go, Missouri is the place of their, their birth, they, they are American. They consider themselves more American than natives. I don't even think they know about the major thing. I don't know. But in my pursuit to find out why we are losing, why are they attacking, why are they trying to take the vote from us? In my pursuit for trying to find that out, I found out, no, it's something much worse. That's why that religious agenda was pushed. I couldn't understand that. Why would this nut go and shoot everything up just so he could go and stand in front of the church and hold the Bible upside down? Y'all go back and look at my Mormon thing that I just read to y'all. Missouri. Missouri. I gotta look that up. That's that's where they started. That's what they said. That's the Bethlehem. Right here in the United States. So. 
So now they got me kicked off for harassment and bullying. I didn't see anything bullying and harassment about it. I looked at it as educational. Educational. But that's why you don't see me on Facebook. But look at this backdrop. I got these, I ordered these hot red pants to wear for coming walks. Unless the uh, the moments make me a martyr, especially once I start my podcast. Especially when I start my podcast. Yeah, honey. They'll do anything to stop me with these white women from posting this from both money. <laughs> they want them. They want them making babies to take over the world. Say yes to education, y'all. Say yes to science, to math. Say yes to advancement, success, upcoming. Say yes. And say yes to the truth. Say yes. Yes, yes, yes. I like to say yes. Barnes and Nobles. I don't know. Archway. I don't know if they Mormons. <laughs> I probably ain't got nobody print my books. <laughs> Whoo, child. Girl. <laughs> I like to say yes. At Barnes and Nobles. Archway. And. I don't know. If these are is more or not, anyway. Supposed to be able to get that archway. Amazon and Barnes and Nobles. The Barnes and Nobles Yeah, child, I heard alarms going off. I was like, is the alarm on my car going off? Because you know Mormons like the bomb people. Ha <laughs> ha, I was telling us African Americans, we need to get more into physics. Because <laughs> them, them some bombing Mormons. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, I found out we're just collateral damage. But that's why we have to work harder. So... Um, I'll be putting on my podcast. Um, I'll just be putting it on YouTube to the YouTube takes it down. And, um, YouTube. And, uh, there's a gaming channel. But I'll, I'll let y'all know which one that is. Because... I can record and film, you know, and do it like that. Whoo, child. I tell you. Honey. For harassment, because I posted three times. If that's the case, I wouldn't have had no page during 45 lessons. Oh, and I guess they're sick of me always writing vote out every Republican. See, in my book, I don't know if I'm going to have to do that Miss Vicky again. It's repetition. It's how you learn. I need to, for us to see what exactly is controlling the reason why that we're in the process of losing could be in the process of losing the voter, but because I have never registered online. I'll never do it. I never trusted them enough. I did mail it in until the jury got there. I ain't doing that no more. Um, because when we first got the vote, we had to do, take everything but DNA and show up in person. So that's how my grandmother did it. 
My mother did it, I did it, and my daughter did it. So, we're not rural, so rural that we have to do it online. We show up because we know if we're going to continue voting, we got to show up and show out because that's what our ancestors did. And that's how we got the Jim Crow law taken away and the Black Code law taken away. And them Mormons don't know nothing about us and they don't care nothing about us. They want all the women that can get them in heaven and all the babies that can get them in the Republican Party. And there you go. I tell you. So, little old raisin. Little old raisin. Again. So, we just gonna use Facebook as like a link. Like where I just like put in a link to my podcast. Any discussions we have, we're gonna have it on Facebook. But I'll just post my links. Um, I'm gonna try, I found this, uh, this video thing that let me do live. And I'll go on it and do live at 7 o'clock in the morning for y'all. But, I love y'all dearly, but, honey, I started talking about Mormons and, oh, again, Molly, that was another thing. That's what got my sick clothes down too. When I was talking about Molly. Hashtag Costco girl. Hashtag I believe save Molly. Yeah. Yeah, town. Yeah. Yes, they did. Shut that shit right down. Sex trafficking, Midwest Molly took my <laughs> took my shit from Facebook, snatched my shit so fast. Okay, that's how strong it is. How you monster it? Look, I ain't making money on Facebook. I ain't making money off YouTube. I don't have enough followers to impact anybody. But obviously, I got a little brains going here. <laughs> I got a little brain work going. And honey, they say ain't nothing worse on the planet Earth than a thinking African. <laughs> nothing worse, worse on the whole Earth. So you know they hate this old reason. Anyway, so I'm trying to, I got down here for the walk and we're going to continue to do that, whether Facebook or not. I'm going to have to infuse, like I'm going to have to do some Facebook and then infuse the other thing in. But I'll find a way to do it. Or I have to send a link to my Facebook people and tag everybody to leap over to the other thing where my walk is going to be. And we'll see if the Mormons come over there. <laughs> Woo, when Leah Remy told me about the Scientologists, let's do some fingers, y'all. How they followed you around, came to your house, sat outside. Woo! Did all the things, followed you around, went to the neighbors, all that kind of stuff. I was like, wow, does that really happen? And here I am, a little old crone, a little old crone. And I'm harassing somebody on Facebook. So... I got me a podcast. Because if that's the situation, that's what it is, 
Y'all need to get out there and vote. You need to register. And you need to vote. Because you up against them Mormons. And one man has a hundred children. What? Uh, do the math. Ten thousand keeps coming to my mind. Grandchildren. Because the, the man who comes from a hundred, he have a hundred. That's two hundred. And that's three hundred, four. So you see, five hundred, six hundred. So you easily hit the thousands. And that's the Midwest Republican Party. That's who controls the votes. One man can have eight wives. She gave him 25 children. They're all Republicans. They're just doing as they're told. They're just doing as they're told. Yeah. I don't understand why they enslaved the African and they had to kidnap us from Africa. There were so many European women that were so willing to be slaves. Why you just ain't use them? There was plenty of them in England and everywhere. Germany, the Dutch, they transferred African slaves. What you transfer them here for? If you think you're a woman in slaves, what the hell y'all transfer us for? What did you come and started effing with us? You're a woman in slaves, you could